bacon anomaly. A bacon anomaly. Yeah, like it's just a bit of bacon with a swirly bit in it. Well, old mate walked back. I'd eat it. You'd eat that, would you? It's bacon, brah. He walked back to his car and unwrapped the roll to have a bite before the drive home. Before he tucked in, though, he just quickly checked to see how many slices of bacon were in the roll, only to find that he claimed to be a pig's nipple on one of the rashes. So he drove home, showed it to his mum, because that's what you do, right? Look at this, got a <laughs> free nipple down the down the hamburglers. And then he took pictures and then complained to the fast food chain's head office. He rings them up and goes, there's a pig tit in this. <laughs> now, look, I don't, <laughs> I don't open up. I don't open up everything that I get from Macca's because normally Hello. I'm I'm trusting that the food is going to be okay, right? I'm not checking it for nipples, you know, like <laughs> unless like I think that the uh, the server, the person that served me, is pulling the piss, right? You know, yeah. then like, do you think all restaurants have like a little sashi bag of pubes or something like that that they just sprinkle on your food if they don't like you? <laughs> Really? No, I'm asking. Seriously, do you reckon they do it? Drop the hamburger patty on the floor and stand on it a couple of times and put it back in your hamburger. Yeah, or they got- may or may not have ever done that when I was working in hospo. Um, what about what about having um, ice in the urinal? Um, and then that's what? where you, you, yeah, like the employee urinal. You know what I mean? You just get the ice out of the employee urinal and then you know put it under the thing, fill it with coke. What about? Oh, the, right. What about yeah. the fly tape? You know the tape you the can fly, get. Yeah. The fly stick to it and stuff like that. Just pull mm. peel a fly off that, stick it in your hamburger, serve it off. That's um, that's the black pepper. You grind them up, oh. them nice and dry. Yeah. So he reckons anyway. Simon reckons that this has put him off meat entirely. So he is pretty so Simon much... Simon says go vegan. Yeah, Simon is going vegan. That's right. So he's, he said he regularly picks up a bacon roll from Macca's as a cheeky treat, and he always opens it up to check inside because he's got OCD. Well, I who does that? I don't do that. No. Nah. Like, I'm not... Just, it's too busy going in my face, bro. Like, seriously. Do you, you know... Get a bacon roll, you eat it. Do you know that there's probably people out there, right, that go... I don't believe that's a quarter pounder. I'm going to take it home and chuck it on the scales. So they tear it off and then they go, right, there it is. Did you know that in America they actually brought out a um, a third pounder? So like it was a third of a pound, but it sold poorly because everyone thought that it had less meat in it than a quarter pounder. Oh, really? Yeah, because um, four is a bigger number than three. Oh, my God. You... That's, that's a thing. That's a thing? Yeah, it was a thing. It was like in the 70s or something because uh, Burger King had come out with the Whopper, so Maccas were all like, oh, we've got to do something better. Oh, okay, we'll do the thing third of a pounder and everyone went i don't want to pay more for less idiots because people are fucking stupid idiots what are you doing people now listen mm. they um maccas they said we use back bacon in all our bacon rolls and due to the location yep. that this cut is taken from we're confident this customer is making uh, a mistake in his claim. They're saying, yeah. no, nah, he's got to be mistaken. But you know what, though? The, he said pig's ass. That's right. But customers, though, they're liaising with their customer service team who are offering further assistance. Now, this, uh, let's get this right, comes after a mum said she was left absolutely livid when McDonald's staff refused to let her potty training toddler use a toilet. Hang on. Yeah, that's right. They have right. public toilets. Yes, exactly right. They do. This is over in Grimsby in the UK where a two-year-old daughter suddenly needed to go to the toilet, but as they entered the loos uh, at Macca's, she was stopped by workers who said the tot couldn't use the toilet as they weren't paying customers. Ah, oh, right. Now, hang on a second. Okay. A shit ton of things happen at Macca's where, you know, it, it's all accommodated, but they don't have to be customers. You can stop there if you, you know, they even had on one of the commercials uh, as, you know what I mean, where uh, mom, I'm busting, and then they pull into the Macca's, mm. but also at the same time as the broken family where he's doing the <laughs> drop off to pick up the kids. Yeah, you know or what getting I mean? something from your Facebook marketplace or picking up a pound of Bolivia and um, blonde coke or something because it's always in the Macca's car park. Always or later on just doing donuts in your fully sick piece of shit Suzuki McFuck with a with a subwoofer with more power than the engine. Mm, 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 do you know? Mm. Do you know? I have seen one of the funniest things ever is that uh, these guys managed to lock the rear wheels of their vehicle. Uh, and tied onto the bottom of it, Macca's trays underneath yep. the vehicle, and they skated the thing around in the car park. It was one of the funniest <laughs> things I've ever seen in my life. You know, mm, those trays have seen a lot, though. They Imagine have. Imagine if those trays could talk, man, the shit that they've seen. That's right. And look, I don't think they've changed the Macca's trays ever since no. Macca's trays have been Macca's trays. Do you know what no. I miss, speaking of Macca's trays? What? I miss the little foil Macca's 
bloody ashtrays. <laughs> I remember? knew you were going to say that. They had glass ones too, remember? Did, did they really? Yeah. I don't think they lasted long in our area because they became weapons, but... Um, Do you know what? Yeah, they had glass ones. I want... I, if someone out there in Burbaldan can help me, I would love just to get a little aluminium foil McDonald's ashtray. <laughs> Seriously, before they ban smoking, we forget that we ever did that lovely thing. I want, yes. I want some Macca's ashtrays. I wonder if I can get on eBay and find some. Talk Maybe amongst you yourselves, Jenna. Have you got something <laughs> to say? What, what, do you, what do you think about the, the, the tit and the burger? I just have the nips are getting bigger stuck in my head now. <laughs> <laughs> See what she did there. Well, we can't play that. We'll get a, we'll get a strike <laughs> on. Um, yeah, we will. I wonder but if, if you break it, you break it down though. Macca's is right. Believe it or not. Why? The good bacon comes from like the back and sort of ass area of a pig, right? Yeah. So there's nowhere near the nips because the nips are on the stomach of a pig. Also, don't forget nips are external organs. So, like, you know, they're outside the body, so you can see the nips if the pig rolls over onto its back, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, what happens when you cook pig skin, Jenna? Doesn't it shrivel? It and turns get into fatty? crackling. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see any crackling in Old Mate's Burger. I reckon it's a bacon anomaly. I just think he wanted Macca's free for a year. Yeah, I reckon. It's like that woman that reckons she burned herself with the hot coffee and won all that money. People yeah. are just... Soft. Just one of the 10 seconds of fame and free yep. food, ultimately. Yep. Dare I say it, people are pussies. This is The Burble with Benny and Az. Do you know when a movie comes along and you go, we didn't need that. That didn't need <laughs> to get made at all. <laughs> like, Highlander 2, like Terminator Hi- 3. Highlander 2, yes, Terminator 3, Ghostbusters, answer the call. From 2016. I'm not going on about that movie because it had women in it or anything like that because that's not... It's a shit film. It was a shit film. It was so shit that it had its own sewage plant. Like he set up for it. If you give a turd a vagina, it's still a turd. (laughs) Doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl turd. It's still a shit. Yeah. And that movie was like horrid. Yeah, it was. Fucking... Well, let's just pretend for a moment here as we are in a uh, writer's meeting. No. You know, oh, that'll be good. Yeah. How about it? How about move? No, what, what movie can we do a sequel to? Well, how about a minute? You, how about you guys step out for lunch for a moment and I'll have a think about what we could do. <laughs> hmm. Oh, welcome back, guys. I had a thought. Let's do a sequel to Twins and call it Triplets. Oh, for fuck's sake. And put Tracy Morgan in there as another long-lost bloody twin or triplet that they didn't know that they had. I'm not kidding, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Dateline or Deadline is reporting that the aptly titled sequel will see Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito reprise their roles, having discovered they've got yet another sibling in the family. Secretly, there was a third baby born, a black baby, who hasn't been in touch with his siblings. Now, Ivan Reitman, who is fantastic, I think a genius, has come up with this and, in fact, wanted to do this about... Nine years ago with Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy wasn't making movies, all that kind of stuff. Then they said, well, let's now do it. But Eddie Murphy's now booked up after he's done all the coming to America and all that kind of thing, which I saw and I wasn't really impressed with, I've got to say. Wasn't what, the new one? Yeah, the new one. I wasn't Is really. Is it out? It's out. Yeah, it's out. You oh, can... fuck me. I like. I don't even know what's out at the cinemas or on the bloody streaming services anymore. Just Shit just passes me by. Well, it was. It, it, it's, it actually came out on um, Amazon Prime, I believe it was. So oh, for fuck's sake. So I watched that. Anyway, so it's out. Coming to America. They managed to do a good job of getting all of the original uh, cars Back, which was well, half the fucking cast was Eddie Murphy. It wouldn't have been that hard. No, they well, he does all of those as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You anyway. know what? I'm just going to interject here. Yeah. You know what shits me? What fucking really shits me right now is the fact that movie execs and fucking people that are have doing this to do with the media. Well, Don't they're smoking. They're smoking the rock because it's like they just come up with a name and then it's like you've got to fill in the blanks. Like we've got the name. Now the intern or the fucking AI in Korea that writes the scripts for Home and Away and Neighbours, right, 
fucking writes the movie after it watches, you know, 100 hours of fucking bullshit television. Like, it's like snakes on a plane. Some dude got paid multi-million fucking dollars just to go, I want a movie called Snakes on a Plane. I don't care how you fucking get there. I don't care who's in it. I don't care what. It's just got to say Snakes on a fucking plane. Now, did, and people uh, will go for it. And hang, they did. Hang on a minute. Did in the internet uh, feed suggestions for that movie? More or less, yeah. Um, but it was there was no movie. It was a name. It was a vehicle to promote a name. And this is triplets. Like, I am so sick of these twee, funny, ha-ha fucking shit that everyone's doing at the moment. Like, you know, oh, we've got triplets. And then there's coming to America or too fast, too furious or three fast, three fucking furious. They're the worst for it. It's not like Fast and Furious 5. It's like the fastest and the furious. Sister. Like, fuck me. What happened to sequels? Like, okay, the only good one of these really, I think, was Die Hard 2. What was the tagline for Die Hard 2? Die Harder. Die Harder, yep. So, you know, that works in a million different ways. Like, you could die harder because you're on top. You had a coronary, like, you know, she was a big girl. She squashed you, whatever. Die Harder, excellent. And then there was Today is a Good Day to Die Hard, which was a shit film, um, may I mention. I actually said to my son when it came out because he'd never seen a Die Hard movie before and he was just in that eight. Blasphemy! We'll blame his other parent for that, but um, it's just in that age range where action films are, are sick, you know, like he was, I think he's 14 or 13 and like, you know, loves explosions and dudes getting shot and all that. And I'm like, oh, Die Harder, like Die Hard 7 or whatever it was is on at the cinema. Let's go watch it. And he's yep. like, yeah, yeah, cool. Action film, fucking great. Rah, rah, rah. We get down there, we watch it and we come out of the cinema and I'm like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> That is not a Die Hard movie. That was fucking terrible. So we went home and we watched Die Hard 1 and 2, and he was like, ah, I see. Hang on, and which I'm Die like, Hard yeah. did you watch? Die Hard. The one where he goes to fucking Russia and oh, crashes and a And Chernobyl fucking... and shit. Yeah, where With his, his son. son turns out to be a fucking secret oh, agent. It's like, fucking God. serious. Do you know what? I love the original Die Hard movie. It's yeah. my favourite Christmas film of all time. It really is. Um, one of two Christmas films, because you have to remember the second one is also set at Christmas time. But my yeah. favourite... I think my favourite Die Hard movie is Die Hard with a Vengeance with Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, with Samuel, yeah. And they're blowing up bombs all over New York and all that mm. kind of thing. I, I, I don't think know. that's my favourite. I'm still, I'm still partial to the first one. Yeah. First one was fucking sick. First one is effing sick. And now, that Christmas party, uh, Christmas present you gave me last year was awesome. Benny gave me the illustrated, like, kids' Die Hard book. It was mm-hmm. amazing. We read that on Christmas Day. You know what? So I've been meaning fun. to take that book because I have a copy of it as well to work yep. to a, a friend of ours, Pigwa, who um, where I wanted to show her the book, because but she was there, she wasn't there, I wasn't there, all that kind of thing. So getting back to triplets, which is actually going to happen. This is going to happen. It is the forthcoming sequel to the 1988 comedy directed by Ivan Reitman. Now, basically what they say is they don't know each other and very early in the movie they meet and it's how they achieve a bond together after all these years. So Reitman's come out and said it's really a film about family and no matter how different we all are, we have to learn to get along. And they reckon that they've got great chemistry together and you can see that on the reel. They filmed something, I believe. Uh, But anyway, that's... Talk about something that we didn't need. That is the top of the list. A sequel to Twins. Schwarzenegger's yeah. earned all the money in the world. I'm sure Danny DeVito is still getting residuals from uh, everything. Che- well, he's, taxi, he's doing, cheers. Um, he did It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia for years as well. That's so right. That. But, I mean, I don't think it's necessary. Like, good on Ivan Reitman for putting on some work for all the riggers and backstage crew and sound and lighting guys and cameramen and all that, but fucking seriously? There's this, look, I'm I'm telling you right now, there's only one sequel that we're all looking forward to, and that's Ghostbusters Afterlife. Unofficially the third movie in the actual franchise. It now, follows on from the end of Ghostbusters 2, which was in 1989. Uh, the fans have been dying for this one. Mm. This is going to be actually a good film. They've treated it right. And Ivan Reitman's son, Jason. I was going to say, isn't that an Ivan Reitman film as well? No, that's a Jason Reitman. Uh, ah. Do you remember in Ghostbusters 2, actually, uh, they go to the birthday party and then the kid stands there and goes, you know, my dad told me you guys are full of crap. And that's, yeah. Yeah, that's Jason Reitman. That's <laughs> Jason Reitman. So he was nice. actually in Ghostbusters 2. So we're looking forward to that coming out. Um, is there anything that uh, that you're hoping will come out? Maybe a sequel or a reboot well, or anything like that? Well, actually, 
well, the Matrix 4, but that happened. Yes. So <laughs> um, what would I like to see? And that's mm. another thing. While, while As thinks about that, mm. can you please all get vaccinated so we can go back to the cinema? There's no, yeah, that'd be nice. There's no way I'm going to watch the Matrix um, Resurrection on uh, my TV on a streaming no, service. No, it's a... It's a Spectacle, man. You've got to go and watch that on That's a fucking right. massive screen. Yes. Um, I don't know. Big Busted Booty Cops Volume 4. I wouldn't mind seeing a um, Can you, sequel no, to that. No, no, no. I'm not uh, talking about... I'm not talking about... <laughs> I'm not talking about movies behind the beaded curtain down at the old Hollywood oh, right, Boulevard. Oh, right, right, right. Um, 